Donna Sings. Welcome to my channel. I am so glad you decided to come and join in to see what's going on here. If this is your first time for uh, coming, thank you so very much. And of course, if you are returning, you know how it is. I thank you and I'm certainly appreciative of you taking your time to come over here. Well, today is the viewing of part one of my classic sheet collection. You are going to see me reading from my paper. It's just that it's a lot of garments. I don't want to be too long, so I don't want to really get thrown off from what I'm doing. This is Classic Sheet Collection Part 1. I originally started with like 12 garments. I think I now have 13. However, that's why we have part one and two because today I'm just gonna show you six of the outfits and then um, June 27th, I will uh, air the rest. So I promise not to be too long. Generally, when we talk about a classic collection, we're talking about your blazer. We're talking about your skirt, like a regular skirt, even a pencil skirt. We're talking about a nice pair of pants. Color-wise, we're talking about a black uh, blazer. We're talking about tans. We're talking about grays, and we can even be talking about navies. But this collection that I has is a little less typical. It's got a little bit of color in it. And guys, yes, it's pink. I don't know why. I told you before, I think pink must be my favorite color because all of my things have some type of pink in them. So I'm going to be showing you these garments just in segments. And I do want to let you know, I hacked the heck out of these patterns. I got the patterns. I will show you the ones that I use, but they don't all, um, they didn't all go the way the pattern was going. You guys know that I keep my clothing style real simple, a little bit plain. For me, what I love is just average type dressing, but I love beautiful fabrics. So let's get started. Now, I'm going to start first with what I have on. I know that you may have seen this in one of my Friday sews, but I've got to tell you, <laughs> I love this jumpsuit. Look at this. I love the fit up here. This short sleeve, I put this piece up underneath so that it could just roll up like that. I love it. One pocket, it was supposed to have two pockets. It has these belt loops that extended from the pocket so you have these patch pockets on the outside i put this cute little zipper pull on here because it zips down this is what the back looks like now the pattern of course is short and i didn't pull the pattern out so i'll have to let you see it at the end of the video but I, this was supposed to be my mock-up i bought this it's like a linen. It's got like 45% linen. And I don't even remember what the rest was. This was the fabric that was on my mind for the mock-up because it was so thin. After I got it made, I decided, mm, I really do like it. I'm wearing it today with a pair of sneakers. And so I decided to add it to my collection because you'll see that it really blends in. And I got to tell you, I'm starting this off. I'm calling this my play play wear. So this is my first garment in the classic sheet collection. This is what I will wear for play. My next garment is two pieces. And this is, um, my shirt is actually, see guys, I told you it all just blends in. Same fabric that I used on this shirt, I put on the jumpsuit. Now this is the shirt. This is actually a self-made or self-drafted shirt. I took a shirt that with a, you know, cap sleeve that I already had, laid it on, <laughs> laid it on my fabric, and of course, cut it out and came up with this. I did have um, a nice pleat here in the front, and I decided to kind of make it look double fold, and so it's pleated down. It had, you have your loop closure at the back with this button, but this is 
the shirt. And this is my, um, my second garment. This would be part of my casual work day. To go with this shirt, I have a wrap skirt. This is a denim. It's, I don't think it's a real denim. This came, oh, I'm sorry. This came from Hobby Lobby. This is a wrap skirt. I'm so sorry. And it's like right above my knee. It does have side pockets. You can see the, um, can't get in the pockets here. And you guys know how I do. I love to put different colors um, for my pockets. So it looks like this. So it's a wrap skirt. And it actually looks really cute with this top. So this is something that I would wear on a casual work day. The pattern that I use for the wrap skirt is kind of crazy. Is this one, New Look 6734. This is like the wrap for this swimwear, but I actually just shortened it and used this one. When you see it in the pictures, it's actually really cute. The second garment that I have for my work collection is this white top. It's a white blouse, sleeveless blouse, has the V-neck. You can see right in here, a little design. They had you put some elastic right here, sleeveless. And then, of course, it's gathered here with the, um, with the fluffy bottom. I used the white seersucker fabric for this. I paired it with this very colored pant. It's a straight leg pants so you just have your front with the darts the back has the darts i do have the side zipper and a hook and so this is a second garment i'm so sorry it looks like this that i would choose to wear um that i would choose to wear to work it's very comfortable and it actually looks really nice on the um the patterns that I use for that. This is the blouse pattern, Simplicity 9545. I didn't put that um, strap going across there. And as you can see, I didn't put the sleeve. I use this version right here without that top going across the front. It's a very comfortable top. I've made it before and I did enjoy making it this time. And you know me, the pants are my go-to pattern this um i think it's 1940s butterick 7557 you guys know i love that cigarette type pant and that's the one that i use for these pants then i have a third item that's good for work this is a vest and a skirt this is another denim um, that I purchased from Hobby Lobby. You can see, I love doing these insides. So I made the vest. It's just a sleeveless vest that curves at the bottom. I don't know if you can see that curve at the bottom it has a little slit on the side. It's just plain here in the back it has this mock neck. So it comes like this and it actually does like this. So it's really, really nice. I put these mother of pearl buttons on here and lo and behold, when I tried it on to do my video, one of the buttons broke. So when you see the video, you will see that that button is missing, but it looks like this. It has darts in the back. It has a really nice fit. I paired it with this skirt. Oh my goodness. The skirt is gorgeous. It's a the denim skirt, you'll see it um, in the pictures, has pockets. And yes, I did put that in the pockets. It has um, the fly front is here. Um, yeah, the fly front with a hook, the pockets. It does have, I don't know if you can see, the slit down at the bottom. I put that in the front. And then the back has the yoke here and i did one back pocket yes this pocket has it so this actually turned out to be a really nice garment also i know this is so messy i'm sorry 
but it turned out to be a really nice garment also. This is also something that I would wear to work. The patterns that I use for this, I use two patterns. For the vest, this is Butterick 6901. Here's the line drawing for it. Of course, you can see I altered it. I didn't do the points on the vest. I do have the darts. And of course, I put a little collar on it myself. I just wanted to change it around. But to get myself started, I used this vest pattern. And then the skirt pattern that I used is McCall's 8149. And I actually did do it like it is in the line drawings, except I got one pocket in the back instead of two. And so that's what this like, looks like. I told you guys I had these patterns. Some of it was because I didn't feel like doing all of that work. And some of it was because it was just the style that I preferred. And then when I started thinking about my collection, I felt like, well, if I went to some meetings or to a business meeting, what would I wear? So what I started with is this blouse. This is a, um, this is a chalet fabric. It's just a sleeveless blouse because this is my summer. It has the rounded neck. And what I did was I just put elastic here because it was just a full top. I put elastic here so that it would give me the gathers here. The back just looks plain like that. And I'm sorry, it's wrinkled. I took pictures in it. And what I did with this, I paired it with a pair of black pants which I think is now my go-to pants. So a pair of black knit pants and actually with this shirt and I put on a black belt. Oh, that looks terrible. I put on a black belt. <laughs> I'm sorry. I put on a black belt. It looked really, really, really nice. So I was like, this is something that I would wear to an office meeting. And of course, I'm not gonna just have my arms out, so I'll show you um, shortly how I layered that outfit so that it would be appropriate for a work meeting. The patterns that I use, I'll start with the pants. This Know Me pattern, two, ME2001. I made a pair of pants, a green pair, and then this is the pattern that I use to make the black pants for this particular outfit. And I use this shirt pattern, hacked again, this uh, Butterick 6718. I use this shirt pattern. This is what it looks like in the line drawings. I'm sorry. And then, of course, I just put the elastic in the waist and wore it with a belt. That outfit looked pretty nice also when you put it on. Then I felt like, okay, this is another outfit that I would wear um, to work to a business meeting. It looks kind of dressy, but it's really nice. So this is the top, the one shoulder. It has darts here, darts in the back. It does zip down the side. Now I'm going to tell you, I think I gained an inch or two. This was one of the first pieces I made. And so when you see it on, it is a little bit snug, but it is adorable. I love the coloring in this fabric. Um, so that's what it looks like. That's the front. That's the back. And I paired it with this teal gabardine skirt. Not really a pencil skirt, just a regular A-line skirt that looks like this. This has the darts. And of course, the zipper in the back, it has that teeny, teeny little split down there. And this actually looked really, let me do it the right way, looked really, really, really um, pretty together. I, so I thought if I was going to a business meeting at work, this would be appropriate for that. Of course, I wouldn't be at work with one shoulder out. And so there is a sweater that I layered this with also. This is that sweater. It's McCall's 8247. I made this version here, version B. Here are the line drawings for making it. I made this before in a pink knit 
And actually, I'm going to show you the one I did now for layering these pieces that I have, but it's in white. And I do think I'm going to go back and make a black one because it is a really nice cardigan. I didn't do the buttons down the front. It does have the the band around the neck, front and back, and going down, but I didn't do buttons. I used this white. Um, it felt like a ponte knit. However, the bulk said, um, it said uh, polyester knit 10% uh, spandex. It has very little stretch to it, but it does have a little. And as you can see, it's just very plain. Here's the neckband, but I did fancy it up, guys. Along this hem here, I put some lace inside just because it's pretty and I like pretty things. So I layered this sweater, as you'll see in the videos, with the green skirt and top and with the black pants and the very um, floral colored top. And then the last piece for this collection for part one is this linen jacket. It's like a shirt, like a jacket. I don't know, but um, it's a jacket actually. And this is very nice. Kind of looks like a shirt here. It has a pocket. Pocket is a little bit smaller than the pattern, but I was trying to get the pattern matched out perfectly so i think i did a pretty good job it's the pockets only on the one side um it does have this sleeve it's a full sleeve it has a cuff that buttons on each sleeve and then of course we have the buttons that go down the front and there is a full collar with the neck band up underneath it excuse me i have to lay that down it does have the yoke in the back, as you can see, yoke on the crest here, and then this pleat that is here. And I really, really, I enjoyed making this. It was a little big, um, but I did manage to, you know, get it sized right. And because linen and it ravels, I did do bias tape around the sleeve and the seams. I actually did do the French seams inside here. And this looks pretty nice also. This is something else that I would wear with, um, to a business meeting. I paired this up in the pictures with a beige skirt um, because I don't need another beige skirt, so I didn't make one. But I paired it up with a beige skirt, and it looks really pretty. Not only that, I also um, paired it up. Excuse me with these pants. And even though they're two different pinks, it really does look nice together. So I'm really pleased with the way everything turned out. Um, I like I like the pieces a lot. And I will tell you, when I took the pictures um, with, this, with this jacket and the beige skirt, I model it with this tote bag. This bag is 100% vegan leather. I got it from the Wu Wardrobe, which I will put that in the information or uh, in the description, I should say. This is a really nice bag. I put I can put my laptop in here along with my other things if I wanted to. I could put clothing for an overnight stay in here and I love what it says. Dress like Coco Chanel. Live like Jackie Kennedy, <laughs> act like Audrey Hepburn, and laugh like Lucy, Lucille Ball. I love all four of those um, people, well, the three people, and then the brand Coco Chanel. So this is the first part of my classic chic collection. I have been making a big deal out of this collection I started it, I think, in February. Now, the other pieces are finished, but I didn't want to just bombard you with a whole lot of clothing and with a long video. So, I really, really appreciate you tuning in to see it. I hope you enjoy watching the 
video where you can see what the garments actually look like. I hope you enjoy watching it as much as I enjoy making it. This is classic, you know, it's not the basic pan, it's not the basic blazer, but you can do so much with these clothing. I could take this very blouse and the peel, the teal that's in here, I can pair it with that teal skirt. You saw that I can use my beige skirt, I can use these pants, and of course anything will go with the black. It's just really been fun making this collection. So I hope you enjoy it. Don't forget to hit that bell so that you can be notified because on June 27th, I will have the video up for the Classic Chic Collection Part 2. Enjoy.